One police accountability expert called it a catastrophic mistake. An officer firing into a moving vehicle, critically injuring a teenager. As that 17-year-old Eric Cantu fights for his life, new developments are Dylan Collier tracking down new information on the criminal case against his shooter. But first, a warning. This story includes graphic footage that may not be suitable for everyone. This evening, our first look at footage of James Brennan leaving jail early Wednesday. The fired San Antonio police officer was magistrated alone in his cell and kept away from other inmates, standard for high-profile cases. The 27-year-old walked out free on $200,000 bond at 4.06 a.m. He's scheduled to appear in court the day before Thanksgiving. Brennan, get out of the car. Who opened Eric Cantu's car door without identifying himself, <laughs> fired a total of 10 shots. Half of them as Cantu drove away. Department officials confirming today the vehicle was not stolen. The October 2nd shooting and subsequent arrest of Brennan on two counts of aggravated assault by a public servant, one for each person in the car, exposing SAPD to nationwide scrutiny. Obviously, this person did not have good, did not exercise good judgment or sound judgment. So, you know, you can't condone that kind of stuff. Former officer turned criminal justice professor Kevin LaChapelle. To me, it, it looked like lack of training, or lack of experience. Brennan, a seven-month veteran of the agency, had been given the okay to patrol alone just months before the shooting. Chief William McManus this week defended the department's current training standards. This was a was a failure for one individual police officer. It had nothing to do with our policies. Through their attorney, Cantu's family said today the teen is still on life support for his lungs, fighting a high fever while attached to mechanical ventilation. NSAPD's Public Information Office saying this afternoon the license plates on Cantu's vehicle did not belong to the car he was driving, but again, that car was not stolen. No further explanation has been given. If Cantu passes away, that charge against Brennan will be upgraded. His attorney today did not respond to a call asking for an interview. Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Good information, Dylan. Thank you. Our team has been following this story since it first happened on October 2nd. Right now on KSAT.com, you can find an in-depth article on everything we know about the case, as well as links to past stories. All you have to do is click on the home page.